Let me do a quick sip of water. I mean, I, I obviously feel good about the win. Guys played hard, competed hard. We had good preparation. Obviously, it's been a really hard week. Monday was a hard, hard, hard emotional day. Tuesday, we had a great practice. We went twice. Wednesday, we went twice. And we, we played with, the, with some emotion tonight, which was, which was fun to see. Um, I thought the crowd really, really helped us. You know, it was like an eight, nine, 10 point game and we were pressing. So really grateful to the fans that came out because I thought the energy in Pauley kind of got us from that nine or 10 point mark to maybe the 15 or 16 point mark. So I thought that was a big factor in the game. But again, really proud of our guys. Moses Brown sprained his ankle a little bit yesterday. We weren't even sure if he was gonna play in the game and he goes for 17 and 10, but we wanted to speed it up a little bit, get the pace up a little bit. And fortunately, we were, we were able to do that tonight. But you know, it's been a hard week. It's just one game, but it's a good start. Did you sense the guys kind of were galvanized and together and, and were on the cusp of this kind of game based on what you had seen in practice and before? Just didn't know. Just just didn't know. I, I, I love what I, I've seen. Again, Monday morning was really, really tough. But if we came back and I thought I had a pretty good practice Monday. Two, two hard practices Tuesday, two hard practices Wednesday, one harder than the other, and then we went pretty hard this morning and um, guys played well. You know, we've got pretty good talent on this team and we really didn't structurally do a lot different than we've been doing. We just sped it up a little bit, tried to advance the ball a little bit more and tried to speed the game up a little bit. You, you also really attacked the basket. How, how, how important was that? Well, it's important. We, we were hopeful in this game we could attack the paint, attack the rim. Obviously, when you see zone, the first thing when you see a zone, you want to get to the paint, and we were decent at doing that. You don't want to settle for perimeter jump shots if a team's playing in zone. You, you simply want to get the ball in the blue via the pass or the dribble and play inside out, attack the rim, and we were able to do that. I thought we rebounded pretty well. That was, a, I think, a big key in the game. We had a plus 12 rebounding advantage. We got five guys in double figures. We hit 90 points. So. There's some good, again, I'm one of those pretty even keel guys. I'm not a guy that gets too high after one win, but it was a good start, good start. Uh, Coach, congratulations. Thank you. On victory. Thank you. Uh, what did you learn from your father? Uh, Ooh, how long do I have? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean about being the head coach at UCLA. I covered your father as a student. Did coach. you? Yes, I did. But what did you learn? from your father to be a head coach at UCLA? Well, I don't know about being at UCLA. I played for my dad at UAB, and then I was an assistant for my dad at UAB. Uh, my dad was a great coach, and he passed away seven years ago today. Uh, so it's a little emotional for me to even think about it. But my dad had great memories of being here at UCLA. But my dad was, again, he was a great coach. I think he's in 10 or 11 Hall of Fames, but the, the best thing about my dad, he was an incredible <coughs> person. So that's really the biggest takeaway for me is just how to treat people. And uh, just anybody you come into contact with. So I think hopefully I got some of that from him in terms of the way that I try to deal with the guys. And uh, so really more of the relationship piece and just how to treat people the right way. Uh, but I miss my dad. I miss my dad. He loved being here, but obviously he was following Coach Wood, which was a pretty hard guy to follow. But I, I, I've got great memories being a ball boy here and seeing a lot of good players. Uh, Coach, you mentioned the uh, emotions earlier in the week. Was there anything that you said to the players or maybe some of the leaders on the team said to make sure those emotions got channeled in the front row? You know, we collectively, Dwayne Broussard, Tyus Edna, and myself, were kind of all helping coach the team. And, and I thought Tyus gave a really emotional talk. Um, I guess that was on Monday. And uh, uh, just, you know, what it means to put the UCLA uniform on. And 
the, the way you've got to look, the way you've got to act, the way you've got to play. Talked about the history here and the tradition here and what it means to, to be a basketball player at UCLA. And he got emotional. I mean, he, Tyus was pretty emotional as he spoke to the team. And uh, I certainly think that had an effect on him. And guys have worked really hard. And um, I, I didn't, I, he, there's no way to foresee what was going to happen, but the guys did play with some spirit, some energy, and it was good to see. Coach, you said earlier this week that you're going to pour all of your energy into the, the players, and this is about them, to get them to see them be able to celebrate a win for the first time in a few weeks. How did that make you feel as a head coach? Well, it was exciting. We had a very, very excited locker room. You know, we've, we've, it's been a really hard two weeks. You know, we beat a really good Lyola Marymount team. We beat a good Notre Dame team. But then we really, it's, the last two weeks has been tough. You know, we lose to Belmont, we go on the road, get hammered pretty good by Cincinnati, play decent against Ohio State, come back here. And so we've had a hard two weeks. And their head coach, the guy they came here to play for, obviously he's let go and so it's been hard it's been hard but i think the last three days the guys have done a really good job of trying to get their spirits back up and they were incredibly incredibly excited uh, in the locker room after the game and i thought the bench was great i just thought the energy of our team was 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 much better coach what do you think of the defensive effort tonight it looked like you guys were using the press a little bit more and creating turnovers and some some dunks and some energy from that yeah, I thought it was up and down a little bit, and uh, but we did want to press more in this game. It's kind of a, it's not a full court trap oriented press. It's just the press that kind of kill and clog. But I thought we did get some steals out of it, and we got some steals, and we scored. Let's see how many transition points we had. I'm not sure, but I, I thought yeah we had 19. But I thought we advanced the ball better. We got a few steals out of it, and it got us going a little. Bit. So we, we really wanted to push the tempo of this game. So we wanted to press more, trap a little bit more, try to run a little bit more after a made shot, get it out quicker, advance it quicker. And so we were able to do that. I thought defensively a little up and down, but for the most part, pretty good. You mentioned that practicing twice on Tuesday and twice again on Wednesday. Is that a departure from the status quo, or have you guys been doing that all year? We've done it some. Especially, obviously, we're out of school, and so we're on the break right now. So when you're on the break, you've got a little, little bit more time. So um, obviously, we start school on Monday, so it'll be a little different then. But it was we we've struggled so much. We just felt, you know, it's a balancing act of you want fresh legs, so you don't want to kill them. But at the same time, we just felt we needed a lot of work. We needed a lot of, to do a lot of things because we. We tried to tweak a thing or two here or there and change it, you know, a couple things. So we just needed a lot of practice time. But we may go twice again tomorrow. I mean, we, you know, we'll, we'll obviously we'll go once tomorrow. Uh, one of the players after, after the game asked me if we were going to tape tomorrow. And I looked at him like he was nuts. Are you, are, yeah, we're going to tape. We're going to go hard at least once or twice tomorrow. So anyway, we're, I know we've got Cal at one o'clock Saturday, but we, we just got a lot of work to do. So we have time for two more questions. What led you to start Chris tonight? I'm a fan of his. I like him a lot. I think he's a hard matchup and he's a versatile guy. He's really athletic. I'll be really surprised if one day he's not playing in the NBA. I mean I, I he's got that NBA body, length, skill. He's just got to get more consistent. He ended up tonight with seven points, eight rebounds, three assists. He's just the kind of a guy, jack of all trades, that can do a lot of things. He can play the wing, he can play inside, he's fast, he can guard, he can rebound, he can shoot. I'm just kind of a, he's a guy that I like a lot and I think he's a hard matchup. Uh, Murray, as you go along over the next few weeks, will you be changing some things? Uh, <coughs> Uh, with the system or, or with the way you guys play, or are you going to pretty much stick to what uh, Coach Alford did? It was all structurally good good stuff. I mean, Steve's a great coach. I mean, he's a heck of a coach. 
So there was nothing we were doing that structurally wasn't right. We were just, we, we've been struggling, turning it over too much. We had 24 turnovers last game, 12 tonight, played much faster tonight, but had 12 less turnovers. So we were more efficient, but yeah, we're gonna tweak some things. We'll keep a lot of the things the same. We didn't run a lot of stuff tonight. There, was, there weren't a lot of sets called. We just, we just kind of let them play a little bit and we, we had talked about that for three days, but we'll keep some things the same and we'll tweak, tweak some things that we, we feel like we need to to make us a better team. All right. All right. Thank you.